guys welcome to my channel and thank you so much for tuning in as you can see from the title I wanted to come on here and talk to you guys about brands that I wanted to try out this year brands that sell some amazing makeup uh, makeup that look very very interesting and exciting online at least on Instagram the swatches and everything so this list that I have today is very short it was a long list believe me but I've been postponing this video to film this video for so long that I have already placed uh, orders with some of the brands I received the orders I've used those products and I've also filmed the review on those products for example strobe cosmetics I was very excited that was the creepy cute palette was the first one to try um, and then what else love Lux beauty I've also already placed I want to try Ella Masca's eyeshadows i've already received those products as well if you're interested let me know i will just do swatch and review their uh, the ilamaska uh specifically matte eyeshadows i bought a few matte eyeshadows they are really good if you're interested i would do a swatch and review on those eyeshadows as well so the list has come down to my top three there are still there are three brands that i'm crazy interested in that i haven't tried yet so i thought i'd come on here and discuss with you guys about the brand and the products that they carry that I'm very interested in uh, so yeah let's get into it guys first I want to try something that I'm really really interested in I've been interested in this brand for like two years now this is uh, hang on Danessa Myricks beauty.com I think uh, the owner the founder is Danessa Myricks who's a very renowned makeup artist um, it is a black owned brand and female the owner is female so um, she has a lot of interesting products guys her website is so good it's really good the user interface is fantastic it's not cluttered at all she has like a lot of tabs so she has so much she has lashes makeup brushes um, I think skin and makeup accessories but there are only two categories that I'm very interested. She obviously has a lot of complexion products, I think concealers and uh, foundation and whatnot. Um, obviously, since I don't uh, use complexion products, I, I'm, I just didn't even look at that section. So I'm interested in two categories from Danessa Myricks Beauty. One is illuminators. So she has like various different kinds of illuminators i have to say first of all her website is so good the user interface is so good the user experience is so good when you click on the website and when you it's like there's zero gl clutter i want to say clutter but um everything's explained so well there's not a lot of swatches i will say that there's not a lot of swatches on the product on the website but they have explained everything so well now for example she has like three different kinds of like um, illuminating kind of products one is for example the one I'm very interested in is illuminating veil so those are like uh, it's it's described as like cream highlighter it says that the illuminating veils are opulent long wearing cream highlighters but it looks like they are liquid highlighters at least it looks like to me uh, that produce a sumptuous glow to face or body so they say that you can use it by itself or you can layer it they I mean they have explained things really well because a lot of these brands you have so many products and it's so hard to like know what is what based on that on, only after that you know what you want so they have explained things so well so illuminating whale is liquid highlighters and she has eight shades guys just in the illuminating whale can you imagine eight shades of highlight liquid highlighters uh, she has something extremely dark it, it really one color I think the colors name is Queen looks almost like dark chocolate kind of a color it looks really dark at least based on the pictures so uh yeah she has a lot of color variety then the next illuminating kind of variety is um in light illuminators so let's see what these are because she also has another one called halo powders so in light illuminators and halo powders both are powder finish not finish they i mean the, the consistency is powder whereas the illuminating veil is as i said uh, she calls them cream highlighters but they are in the liquid form so 
the difference between in light illuminators and halo powders is that let's see I, I don't know either let me just quickly click on it I'm just clicking on one of the in light illuminators and I think yeah it says it clearly states that in light illuminators are subtle and buildable and provide skin with a soft sophisticated glow so it's more of like a subtle highlighter probably when you build it up it probably comes up to like a medium metallic highlighter whereas halo powders let's click and see what they are halo powders i'm just clicking on the shade angel wings so this is halo powders are the next level sophisticated glow this luxurious formulation of crystallized illuminators are are our brightest yet so i think the halo powders are like the most intense kind of highlighters they have now both halo powders and um and light powders and light illuminator right it just says in light i'm sorry guys halo powders and in light are both loose highlighting powders both are loose they're not pressed at all so in light is like the most subtle kind which which is buildable whereas I think it says that crystallized illuminator so I think you might I'm just it's just I'm just guessing so I think the halo powders might have a little bit of visible shimmers I'm not sure so but they say that this is their brightest and the subtle variety of highlighters which is called in light let's see how many shades she has she has a lot hang on one two three four so she has like 16 shades i think more than 16 yeah she has more than 16 shades of the in light powders with the, which are the subtle variety and halo powders let's see how much she has she has uh actually five five shades of the halo powder so she has a lot of shades to choose from and so these are the three kinds of illuminating uh, products that I'm interested in the liquid illuminators the subtle uh, Highlighters I probably might skip the subtle highlighters subtle loose powder highlighters, but the halo powders I'm very interested in so next is on Denesa DM beauty, right? Yeah, it says Denesa Myrix beauty. She has something called color fix products These are actually cream um, Just cream makeup which which are in a plastic tube like a squeeze tube you know they come in like three kinds of finishes i think one is called glaze glaze is probably like a hang on let me quickly tell you guys it comes in cream finish and then it comes in metallic finish and then glaze finish glaze is i think probably with this glossy finish and metallic is obviously has shimmers in it and the cream finish is just like plain cream like a solid cream color so these are like like the definition of multitaskers kind of a product the color fix because since they come in the squeezy tu the squeeze tube um like something that would look like a face wash but smaller it says that they can use this we can use this uh color fix products everywhere like eyeshadow lipsticks uh blush whatever you want they say that this is a next wave innovation color fix is a hybrid cream product an extreme long wearing paint that can be safely used on the lips eyes and face so it, it says that it has an extraordinary silicone base that can be mixed and to create custom colors transparency and bold saturation so i think this is like a very versatile product i and i think there's this beautiful pink color which is sold out probably because um people like love to use like a light like a medium tone pink color on the lips and i from reviews and like what i've read online i think these are fantastic from what i've heard and they don't crease they are just foolproof full-on saturated amazing color pair of kind of products i'm extremely interested in them uh probably on i'm interested in the cream uh finish more than glaze and metallic but you know it depends if um if metallic or glaze has my favorite not probably not glaze because i don't like having a glossy look in my on my eyelids so i'm probably i think i would be i would be skipping glaze so probably metallic and cream uh color i would very much be interested in them so yeah we'll see so 
interested in these three highlighter uh, products from Danesa Myricks and the Color Fix, guys. If you, ha if you guys, any, any of you guys who's watching this video, if you own Danesa Myricks makeup, do let me know if I'm, sh if I should be looking at any other new products on her website. So all in all, I'm so interested and very excited to buy from Danesa Myricks. Oh, she also has these pigments, metal pigments, metal glitters, I think. I'm not exactly a glitter kind of a girl. Uh, I don't know. I, I really like pigments better than glitter. So again, these pigments can be used alone or combined with any kind of a mixing medium, they say. And it says it's ideal for face and body, but doesn't exactly say eyes. So um, I don't know if, whether these can be used on the eyes. I'm not sure. So maybe I would just should just write to their customer support and clarify that so yeah if they say these can be used on the eyes i really love pigments so i probably buy some of these metal pigments they have they don't have a huge range of colors um they have the usual green blue uh copper gold but besides and and of course silver obviously but besides that i think they only have glitters in in various colors red blue purple uh like opal kind of a colors they're all mostly uh glitters so yeah so we finished with danessa myricks next one i'm i am so hang on i just closed the window next one i'm extremely interested is is this i don't think a lot of people know this brand the brand is called dawn eye cosmetics i think the owner of the brand is dawn yeah her name is Dawn, again, female-owned brand. Um, I got to say the website is not good. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's very cluttered and it's a little hard to navigate. But Dawn Eye Cosmetics has held a lot of information on her website. It's so good. You have so much information on the ingredients and the size of the pigments and why they choose this particular ingredients, how it is as opposed to other ingredients which is available in the market. They have so many um, information. There is like so much information, but I dislike the layout of the website. It's just not good. The user interface is just not good. But what this brand is known for is like extreme, intense very strong duochrome pigments loose pigments that's what they are known for at least online at least from what I've seen they do have eyeshadows but they have something called the premium they have the premium and then they have something called the premium premiums and then the premiums too so these premiums I gotta say the duochrome is unreal guys I highly recommend you check out this website, the Dawn Eye Cosmetics. I will leave information, the dot com information, the, the address of each of the brands that I'm talking about online. <clears throat> and I have to say, they have this mini clip. You know, when you uh, click on the Premiums tab or the Premiums 2 tab, they have this um, mini video clip like just like microseconds kind of me um, mini video clip where uh the owner i think this is the owner herself who's modeling the products on her eyes and uh, it's just like a m micro mini video clip where she like turns her eyes like this and just the shift is unreal i have not seen a shift like that ever like ever I highly recommend you go ahead and check that mini micro video clip that is on their website. It's like, honestly, it's like fantasy, guys. It's like unreal. Like, I've never seen such a strong duochrome ever. So I'm very interested in Dawn Eye Cosmetics, the duochrome uh, loose pigments. The, mo the most wonderful thing is that these, these are kind of expensive, right? I think um, the full size retails for $18 each, but she gives you the option of, um, of buying a full size, which is uh, $18. You also have like a mini jar, which is $10. And then you also have a clamshell sample, which is $4. Yeah, just $4. 
so that's amazing so uh you do not have to take the plunge and buy an 18 and spend 18 dollars on a product you can just might as well buy like a clamshell i'm i'm assuming it's like a small sachet like a small sachet where you have the like a tiny bit of amount of course like four dollars you're not going to get a lot so you do like uh and she also does this um what's this like um bundle deal i think in the premiums she has five shades uh so all together you i think you can buy for 85 dollars all five together and like a full size she has like a good description of what the colors are and the idea behind this and she says um the sets are discounted she has a lot of information on her website it's like paragraph after paragraph so just go ahead and check that uh to check out all the information she also has uh information on ingredients sizing of the pigments and what else shipping so she has a separate tab on that where you can read up on all the uh ingredients that she uses and she does say that a, a size some of the pigments i think the size are larger sizes larger that they are not FDA approved I think she she would have mentioned it because the shades that I'm interested in I clicked on it and it does say safe to use and face eyes body but not lips kind of a kind of um, you know disclaimer so I think if certain colors aren't like eye safe she would say not like eye safe or something like that so definitely click if you're interested definitely i think you should be interested because four dollars is like really good definitely just try check them out and the most amazing part is shipping is 20 if you spend 20 dollars and one cent yeah so <laughs> 20 dollars it says 20.01 us dollars so if you spend that much beyond that you get free shipping that is really good right because most indie companies they expect you to spend like hundred dollars on the website to get free shipping so uh, this is very good so i think if you get get like five uh samples like clamshell samples uh that's probably come, going to come up to just 20 right so you probably need to get six yeah <laughs> six shades you might get like free shipping and so yeah what else and i think uh the sample size which is um which retails for ten dollars you get five grams product yeah it's a five gram five gram sifter jar yeah that's what it says it's five gram sifter jar so just the i know the uh, uh, website layout is very cluttered and it's not it, it, it takes a little time to get used to it um, honestly initially the first time I went on the website I kind of closed it after a few minutes it just was a little hard to navigate and stuff like that but just take a look at those micro videos you you'd be blown away so finally the third one is I think quite popular in here in social media it's called the Sydney Grace company I think the website is um, sydneygraceco.com so they've just been receiving so many good reviews on instagram especially and i think uh, their website is really good guys i really love the layout they have really good swatches very good swatches on different skin tones on really uh, p um, i'm not sure who's who that is i think it is ripley i think her in I just know I'm not sure if that has a real name she's on Instagram I think she's Stephanie Nicole's friend yeah so um, you have swatches on her skin tone on lighter skin tone and also on medium skin tone I think all of the shades have been swatched and they have like as I said right really good website not cluttered it's really interesting to navigate to the interesting and easy to navigate to the website and uh, Sydney Grace also has like really good information on their ingredients, why they use so and so ingredients as opposed to the other ingredients that are available on the market and how these ingredients really help and like make their products really good. So that's really good as well. And they have um lots and lots and lots of eyeshadows. I think they have loose pigments as well and they have matte eyeshadows and then shimmers and then also something called pressed 
pressed pigment shadows i think the pressed pigment shadows are like the most foiled and very very intense uh products and their mattes have received some really good reviews so i'm very interested in their mattes i kind of am a little skeptical when i want to try foiled intense eyeshadows from new brands especially brands that i cannot return products from because um i don't know guys a lot of brands just throw the throw and use the word foil very loosely but they're just shimmers and just normal finishes not like out of this world intense kind of a foiled finish so i'm kind of interested in only the mattes but probably i might of course i love shimmers so i probably might pick up few things that look really intense I'm, and they have so many swatches online on their instagram page definitely check out their insta in um you know uh sydney grace's instagram page and they, she has like so many swatches again this is also oh my god all these three brands are, are female owned uh so again um they have like plenty of swatches so many really good swatches on on in on their instagram page so you can like get a good idea of how these products look um and what else the price is actually six dollars yeah these retail for six dollars each and yeah they're really good guys uh what else i'm mostly they do have like some interesting mattes like some unique colors but i have to say they have so many like orangey browns orangey reds like a lot of orange toned uh matte eyeshadows so i'd probably be skipping the orange tone matte eyeshadows most of them look kind of brown on my skin tone so unless it's like a true intense fiery orange it's not going to look orange on me so i'm just leaning towards some unique cool toned green cool toned gray bluish gray kind of uh colors which i really like and i think they're a little hard to find nowadays so i probably stick to those colors a little bit of just those pressed pigment eyeshadows so otherwise yeah, nothing much guys that's it they do have some loose pigments so again with loose pigments i'm a little skeptical i mean uh i haven't tried anything that would beat inglot so far i'm um i really want dawn eye cosmetics to beat inglot like how intense the duochrome it is but we'll see um so yeah that's it you guys these are the brands that i wanted to talk to you guys about and share with you guys and if you guys have tried any of these brands do let me know how they are and yeah hope you guys found this video useful and if you guys enjoyed it please give this video a thumbs up and i will see you guys very soon Bye bye